Ladies and gentlemen, it's such a great honor for me to welcome this man to the stage. We all owe him a debt of gratitude. It is a virtual guarantee that at least a dozen of your greatest memories of Broadway shows were from shows that he produced or directed or both. He has won an astounding 21 Tony Awards and for his, the countless careers that he developed, he was honored here with the acting company's John Hausman Award. Please welcome Hal Prince. Thank you. Uh, I love Barbara Fleischman. And apparently, everybody loves Barbara Fleischman. And for the right reasons. She's more than intelligent. She's wise. And her curiosity is insatiable. Nothing escapes her. She has a voracious appetite for everything cultural. And she has great politics. Well, they're my politics. <laughs> and Bill Moyers, which is undoubtedly more impressive. Also, she loves the theater and has impeccable taste. So we agree on absolutely everything, <laughs> including critics. But we're here tonight not just to love her, but to honor her incredible generosity. The Joan Warburg Humanitarian Award is named after your board president emeritus. And like Barbara, she isn't just a benefactor, she's a worker. I first met Barbara over 20 years ago, serving as a trustee of the New York Public Library. Immediately, we chose to sit next to one another, and we did so for the next 20 years, until I took a powder. Her list of affiliations is endless and well-documented in your programs, so I won't repeat it. But in closing, I would like to point out that she is not a saint and she's nobody's Pollyanna. Some months ago, I sent her a picture book of Detroit, then and now. And when she called to thank me, she directed her fury at the text accompanying the pictures. For she is loyal, boundlessly energetic, and optimistic. So, the Joan Warburg Humanitarian Award is here, Barbara. Come and get it, pal. That's the whole stand on. Right. And where do I say? Right you here. Right there. Oh, careful, the music stand right. behind you. Fine. Okay. Here's the award to give to her. Thank you very much. Thank you. Okay. Well, there's nothing like being introduced by a good friend. When I was young, I wanted to be an actor or a director. And to, to follow that, I joined play production at my alma mater, University of Michigan, and got wonderful training and wonderful way of performing. And after I finished at University of Michigan, I came here to New York. And because I had learned that the actress, Mady Christians, was going to be teaching a class in acting at Columbia University. Now, for those of you who are too young to know, and I think most of you are, Mady Christians was a very fine Viennese actress who was brought to New York to co-star with Paul Lucas in the searing drama by Lillian Hellman, Watch on the Rhine. And when I met her, she was creating the role of Mama in John 
Ben Bruton's I Remember Mama. She was a very, very good actress. And kind of surprisingly, she was a very good teacher. And she was so nice that she asked a couple of us who were going to see the play, I might add, at $1.20 a ticket. <laughs> Those were the olden days. And she invited us to come backstage. And to encourage us, she introduced us to a young fledgling actor who was then playing the role of her son Nils in one of his first roles on Broadway. And his name was Marlon Brando. And Mr. Brando did encourage us. And that was very encouraging indeed. At the end of the course, I had a conference with her. And she was most, most uh, excited and pleased at my performance. And she was very encouraging. And she said there was only one caveat. She said, I think you'll mostly be up for character roles because you're short. Well, she was about five foot ten, so I figured she knew whereof she spoke. But you know, as I left, I was filled with excitement and I was so pleased and awed by what she had told me. But then I thought to myself, you know, Helen Hayes is short and she's not doing too badly. <laughs> However, Fate took a very dramatic turn in my life, and I met and married an extraordinary man, and we had an incredible life together. He would twit me from time to time, saying, Barbara, you know, you're doing your best acting and directing right here at home, <laughs> which I probably was. But what all that training did for me, and I never became an actor or director in the professional field, but what that training did for me was really marvelous. It gave me an ongoing passion for the theater. And it also gave me enormous and profound respect for those in the theater, like many of you who are sitting here, who strive constantly to preserve the integrity of the theater and its excellence all the while you're entertaining us. And uh, it's very difficult in, some of the, in this time. It's very challenging. But you do it, and I salute you. And also in that tradition is the acting company itself, which for over 40 years has done an incredible job of sending actors, mostly young, trained actors, out on tour so that they can hone their craft and they can perform regularly. And in so doing, bringing live theater to places where often there isn't live theater in the United States. So I am incredibly touched and honored to receive this award from such a wonderful institution. And I want to thank everybody in the acting company for giving it to me. Thank you very much.